as we are moving through the classes this week and we talk about the pelvis and how we move from the pelvis, one of the things that we are focusing on is the iliopsoas muscles. Um, and this is a really amazing part of our anatomy, connecting our upper body through the pelvis down into our legs. And it's a, a hip flexor which is connected, sometimes we call it the sole muscle because it's part of our fight and flight as hip flexors are. But this is a little bit of anatomy. Uh, it moves really from our, that I only have a little bit of the lumbar spine on my leggings and on the model, but it moves, <coughs> sorry, from the C12, so just the, the last bit of the thoracic spine, and then from the lumbar spine, um, and you can see part of the lumbar spine here. And so it moves from C12, from the lumbar spine, all the way on, this is inside our pelvis, moving all the way across, down towards the sitting bones, and actually so moving through the pelvis and connecting to our femur, so to our thigh bone. So that muscle moves all the way through the pelvis, which is incredible. Part of the functioning of the psoas muscle is as a hip flexor. So when we flex the leg, as in we walk forward or we run forward or we kick someone, it's the part of the hip flexors having that response. And this is our iliopsoas. So they are the ilium is moving along with it. Some say they're, they're another part of it as well. So, but if we think of the iliopsoas muscle moving through, so it's part of our fight and flight. So we can fight, we can kick someone, we can run away from a dangerous situation. Now, the, obviously the other thing where this muscle might tighten is because now I'm just going to sit on the floor because I don't have a chair here. But a lot of us sit like this, so our hip flexors are flexed because we sit like this. The hip point moves to the thigh bone. We shorten the hip flexors. And this is how we very often sit when we are sitting cross-legged in a yoga class and the yoga teachers sit up straight but we are still collapsed. This is why sometimes we recommend sitting on lots of cushions or blocks or bolsters because then it's a little bit easier to lengthen and find a bit more strength and support. Very often we sit like this when we sit in front of the computer, when we sit on transport. Um, so this is a way we might also tighten the muscles. But usually we just, oh, uh, another way of tightening it is when we're tight in our bodies so if we have um, if we feel unsafe so we talk about fight flight or freeze and we often think about that as danger as in someone is coming to rob us do we fight them or do we flee uh, and that response will kick in but a lot of us have that underlying feeling of uncertainty and we can translate that if we're not or if we are not comfortable with uncertainty it's a threat to our safety so then that action might be just there in our bodies we might not even be aware of it and um, then we have that tension or you might have had a um, a traumatic experience where you did have to run away or where you were fighting um, but that tension was never released afterwards we didn't move through the release of that stress and trauma in the body so a lot of us have that tension and in the yoga sessions our focus is really to open up and release some of that tightness that we might have in the psoas so this is a really, I think, amazing and interesting part of our pelvic anatomy is that we have this iliopsoas muscle moving from the spine 
all the way down through the pelvis and down connecting into our thigh bone connecting our legs through the pelvis and our torso so when we move through the sessions in the week or actually even in your daily life just notice how you are connecting from your torso to your legs how you walk how does the pelvis move in your daily life? How does it move when you are uncomfortable in a situation or when you just feel free and open and um, light in your being?